Main Sutra Part, Chapter 1 Spiritual Penetrations in the Palace of the Trayastrimsa Heaven There are 13 chapters in this sutra. The first chapter is the preface. But its title is Chapter 1 Spiritual Penetrations in the Palace of the Trayastrimsha Heaven In this scripture, the Buddha explained for us and Shakyamuni Buddha performed for us. He showed himself in this world to study, attain enlightenment, and teach, so-called turning the wheel of Dharma and saving sentient beings. The fate of teaching and enlightening sentient beings is coming to an end, and Shakyamuni Buddha will show his extinction. Before that, he will show us, to repay the kindness of our mother. We have seen in the scriptures that, after the world-honored one was born, his mother passed away, and his mother was born in the Trayastrimsa heaven, so he must go to the Trayastrimsa heaven palace to speak for his mother, and preach the Dharma for his mother, which is the K-Siddhi Garbha Bodhisattva's fundamental vow sutra, this time the Dharma assembly of the Trayastrimsa Heaven Palace is very, very special. The world honored one told us about the causes and conditions, the stories of saving the mother in the past human ground of Bodhisattva K. Siddhi Garbha, which are what we usually call stories. Hoping that after listening to it, we can be moved. Study and follow Kaya Bodhisattva, laying a solid foundation for Mahayana cultivation. This is the meaning of this scripture. Now let's look at the scriptures. The beginning of the verse. Thus I have heard, at one time, the Buddha was in the Trayastrimsa heaven, speaking Dharma for his mother. This is, a little different from other classic beginnings. Thus I heard, these four words are simply said. It was said by the person who gathered the scriptures. And it was said by Venerable Ananda. Thus I, this K. Siddhi Garbha Bodhisattva's fundamental vow sutra, is, I. I am, Venerable Ananda claiming to be. And I have personally heard what the Buddha said not just rumors. Just like what Elder Li said in the Avatamsaka Sutra, Venerable Ananda repeated this sutra for us. Every word and every sentence is like what the Buddha said. And it is what the Buddha said. And he decided not to mix his own thoughts in it. This is the meaning of the four words, thus I have heard. At one time, in fact, this time is very, very clear. Three months before the Buddha passed away. But it's better to use, at one time. Because, at one time, has the feeling of the time, when Taoism and teachers are in harmony. So the meaning of the word, at one time, is extremely deep, extremely complete. If the year, month, day, and hour are recorded, the practice is considered to have passed, and it will not come again. At one time, is alive, it is not dead. Like Master Z, of Tiantai sect in the past, when he read the Lotus Sutra, he fell into Samadhi, unknowingly, in Samadhi, he saw Shakyamuni Buddha, preaching the Lotus Sutra, on Vulture Mountain. And he sat there, and listened, for a while. After coming out of Samadhi, tell others that the Dharma Assembly of the World Honored One, preaches the Lotus Sutra at Vulture Mountain, has not ended. Really, as the World Honored One said in the, Lotus Sutra, the world is eternal. Modern Einstein also said that the past, present, and future exist simultaneously. 
Where is the problem now? The past, the present and the future. How to break through this time? Scientists now know that the past, present, and future exist at the same time. But there is no way to break through. If you can break through, you can go back to the past, you can also step into the future. In other words, you know everything about the past and the future, and you are clear. They don't know how to break through, and want to use scientific machinery. Meditation practice. The deeper your concentration is, the wider your breakthrough will be. We can understand that the meditation of the wise master can break through 2000 years. His era is about 1400 years away from us now, and it should be less than 2000 years away from Sakamuni Buddha probably less than 2,000 years. Roughly 1,007, 1,800 years. He was able to break through such a large period of time. And he was able to see that the world-honored one was still preaching on the vulture mountain. And he was able to go back to the past. When people say that time goes back, this proves that, at one time, has a taste. At one time, is the time, when the mind is not disturbed. And the undisturbed mind is meditation. Why can't we now go to the past? Can't step into the future? Our minds are messy, with too many delusions, distinctions, and attachments. So this ability is lost. Everyone should know that, this ability is an instinct, which should be there. The instinct that should be there is now gone and lost. Therefore, we practice meditation in Buddhism. And the Pure Land Method, teaches us to chant the Buddha's name, and keep our minds undisturbed. You have to be undisturbed. In fact, if you can be undisturbed, there will be no problem between 3,000 years ago and 3,000 years later. You decide to know, if you are able to understand the principles and keep your mind undisturbed. And you know everything about the Dharma realm, the past, and the future. Your ability is about the same as that of the Buddhas and Tathagatas. So, at one time, is correct. Which is worthy of our admiration? Well, we'll stop here today.